Okay, so now talking about uh, the thorax um, on the uh, second plastic model. Okay, so uh, this is the thoracic cavity and this is the abdominal cavity separated by the diaphragm. Uh, the diaphragm is a very large muscle. It has got a uh, peripheral muscular parts and a central tendinous parts. Uh, okay, uh, this is the right dome and the left dome of the uh, diaphragm. The right dome is a little bit higher uh, because of the presence of the liver. Uh, the diaphragm uh, supports uh, the right and left lungs and also the heart. Uh, the diaphragm uh, contains three openings for passage of uh, very important structures. Firstly, uh, this is the cable opening. This is the cable opening for passage of the inferior vena cava. So this is the inferior vena cava. It will pass into the cable opening. Uh, the cable opening is at the level of the eighth thoracic vertebra. Okay, and it's important to know uh, the other structures that pass through this and through the other uh, openings as well. Okay, so uh, next uh, we've got the esophageal opening uh, for passage of the esophagus. Uh, this is at the level of the uh, 10th thoracic vertebra. So this is the esophagus. This is the esophagus. Uh, it lies uh, behind the uh, trachea. Uh, okay. All right. And the next, uh, we've got the aortic opening. Uh, this is the aortic opening. It's, uh, it's at, at the level of the 12th uh, thoracic vertebra uh, for passage of the aorta. So this is the aorta. This is the inferior vena cava, and this is the aorta. The aorta will pass through the uh, this opening, which is the aortic opening. Okay, uh, and again, uh, this is the aorta. Uh, uh, this is the heart. Uh, so the aorta uh, goes behind uh, the heart, and uh, it will arch like that. Okay, see if you can see this arch. This is uh, the aorta. It will arch like this. So this is again the aorta. Uh, this is the superior vena cava. Okay, this is the superior vena cava. This is the aorta. Again, the aorta. This is the esophagus. And this is the trachea. This is the larynx. Uh, all right. And um, uh, okay. And uh, talking a little about uh, the uh, thoracic cavity. Uh, it is divided into the right pleural cavity, the left pleural cavity, and also the mediastinum. The mediastinum is divided into two parts, the superior mediastinum and the inferior mediastinum. Uh, the inferior mediastinum is divided into three parts, uh, posterior, middle, and anterior mediastinum. Uh, the heart lies in the, medi uh, in the middle mediastinum. Now talking about the thorax uh, on the first plastic model, uh, okay, so uh, this is the thoracic uh, cavity and uh, the uh, abdominal cavity, they are separated by the diaphragm. Uh, the diaphragm has some openings, uh, this is the esophageal opening uh, for passage of the uh, esophagus. So uh, this is the esophagus, uh, the esophagus lies behind the trachea, uh, this is the trachea and you can better see that here. Uh, this is the trachea and this is the esophagus so the esophagus lies behind the trachea this is the superior vena cava and uh, this is the aorta uh, the aorta will arch this way see uh, it will arch around the heart uh, this way so this is again the aorta and uh, this is the left uh, bronchus, uh, one of the bifurcations uh, of the trachea. Uh, this is the trachea, uh, and uh, at the level of the uh, sternal angle, uh, it will divide into two, bron two branches, the right and the left bronchi. The right one has been cut, but this is the left bronchus. The left bronchus is entering through the uh, hilum or the root of the left uh, lung, it will divide into two branches, uh, the superior and the inferior lower bronchi. So this is the superior lower bronchus and the inferior lower bronchus. Uh, 
okay and uh, as we said uh, the esophagus passes uh, through the uh, esophageal opening and here we've got the aortic opening for passage of the aorta so uh, this is the aorta okay uh, so the aorta comes like this all the way uh, down and uh, it will pass into the uh, aortic opening uh, and this is the inferior vena cava inferior vena cava it will of course go up and pass through the uh, cavel opening which is not uh, obvious here uh, all right and um, that's it okay and uh, one more structure that we need to know uh, this is the azygous vein uh, this is uh, the azygous vein so this is uh, uh, esophagus aorta uh, azygous vein um, trachea superior uh, uh, vena cava now talking about the thorax on this uh, palatinated model uh, this is the diaphragm a very large muscle uh, this is the uh, peripheral muscular part and uh, this is the central tendinous part uh, this is the right phrenic nerve and this is the left phrenic nerve supplying the diaphragm we've got three openings in the diaphragm uh, firstly uh, this is the uh, cable opening cable opening at the level of the eighth thoracic vertebra and then we've got the esophageal opening at the level of the tenth thoracic vertebra and finally we've got the aortic opening at the level of the twelfth thoracic vertebra okay uh, it may not be very clear to actually determine where it exactly is but this should be the uh, aortic opening at the level of the twelfth thoracic vertebra okay um, the structures that pass through the uh, cable opening are the inferior vena cava so this is the inferior vena cava and uh, the right phrenic, phrenic nerve so the inferior uh, vena cava and the right phrenic nerve pass through the cable opening next uh, we've got the esophageal opening the structures that pass through the esophageal opening are the esophagus so this is the esophagus esophagus and also two nerves they are the right and left vagus nerves the left vagus nerve uh, in the abdomen becomes anterior and the right in the abdomen becomes posterior but we have to say that this is the right vagus nerve and this is the left vagus nerve along with the esophagus they pass through the esophageal opening and we also have the epigastric artery passing through the uh, esophageal opening but we can't see that very clearly here and then we've got the aortic opening uh, for passage of the descending thoracic aorta so uh, this is the descending thoracic aorta uh, it will pass through the uh, aortic opening and in the abdomen it will become the abdominal aorta uh, okay uh, it will become the abdominal aorta uh, and uh, uh, this is not the only structure passing through, through the aortic opening but we also have the thoracic duct thoracic duct but we can't see that here now about the muscles uh, of the thorax uh, this is the innermost uh, in, uh, intercostal muscle if, if you can focus uh, this is the innermost intercostal muscle uh, on the right side and again on the left side uh, this is the innermost intercostal muscle uh, the intercostal van uh, pass uh, between the innermost and internal uh, intercostal muscles okay so uh, this is uh, one of the internal intercostal muscles and this is the innermost intercostal muscle uh, these are the intercostal uh, van so this is the intercostal vein the intercostal artery and the intercostal nerve it's more obvious on this side uh, this is the intercostal uh, vein, the intercostal uh, artery, and the intercostal nerve, superior to, in, uh, to inferior van. Uh, okay, and uh, uh, on the uh, outside, uh, these are the uh, external intercostal muscles, external ex uh, intercostal muscles, and uh, on the inside, uh, these are the uh, internal uh, intercostal muscles internal intercostal muscles uh, okay and uh, 
this is the diaphragm uh, this is the right dome of the diaphragm and this is the left dome the right dome is a little bit higher because of the presence of the liver this is the liver uh, this was the esophagus. The esophagus will go to the stomach. This is the stomach. And here uh, we've got the spinal cord. Uh, okay, this is the spinal cord path uh, passing through the uh, vertebral foramens. Okay.